This week, my students are working on designing knit tops, which is a very broad category. So to narrow it a bit, we're focusing on adding fullness and showing pleats and darts. So I'm going to show that to you today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I am a digital fashion educator teaching digital fashion design and communication through my company, 383 Design Studio, as well as an adjunct professor at the Fashion Institute of Technology. For this exercise, I started with a knit top body. Eventually my students will design their own, but for this, I wanted them to focus on adding the puff sleeve and the gathers. The first thing you'll need to do is draw the sleeve. I wanna make this sleeve pretty dramatic, almost like a mutton sleeve, very poofy. And because I'm adding this to an already existing sketch, I'm going to draw this using a more traditional method, which means I'm going to create my own shape. So starting at the sleeve cap, I'll draw the top of the sleeve and then draw the rest of the sleeve. I'm going to add a rib cuff, so I'm going to draw the bottom of the sleeve with a little blousing. Then I'm going to close the shape. Because there's so much fullness in the sleeve, there will be either gathers, pleats, tucks, darts, some type of construction that helps ease the extra fullness into the armhole. So for this exercise, I'm going to show you how I draw gathers or pleats using width profiles. Now, whenever I create gathers or pleats, I use the pencil tool so I can draw freely. It also makes the lines look more organic and not so perfect. For gathers, Draw freehand short lines coming from the armhole toward the sleeve. And most will be close to the sleeve cap. The number of these lines and how close they are depends on how much fullness is in the sleeve. For this sleeve that's really poofy, there's quite a bit of fullness. So I'm going to be adding a lot of gather lines. Once you draw in those short lines, choose a width profile. I usually use width profile number one or number four and edit the lines as needed using the white arrow direct selection tool. If you're going to create a dart, I'll go back to the pen tool and again, create a short line coming from the armhole toward the sleeve. This time, the line is less organic and straighter and then add the width profile. For this, I'll use width profile number four so that the line appears wider at the armhole and then thins out to nothing at the bottom. There will probably be some natural wrinkles in the garment. So I'll add a few more lines here and there and then add width profiles to those lines.
This next part is optional and there's always a bit of a debate about whether you should be adding these extra wrinkle lines or shaping to a flat sketch. A traditional technical flat sketch is very flat and doesn't have some of the small nuances and wrinkles that I tend to add to my sketches. But most flat sketches at this point end up on lots of other documents like CADs or in sales catalogs that are customer facing. So they need to look a little prettier, if you will, and more understandable. I mentioned adding a cuff, which I'm going to do with the rectangle tool and then finesse it a bit so that it has a softer, rounder appearance. After all, this is a knit top, so the cuff shouldn't look so stiff and angular. And then to finish it, I'll add some rib, which I'm not going to demo in this video, but if you want to see how to add rib to your flat sketch, I have two videos that show three different ways you can do it. One last thing I wanted to point out, and this is also something we talk about in class. This is a knit top, and I want that poofy sleeve to have some body so you can really appreciate the fullness and have the poof really stand out. What's going to make a difference is the type of knit fabric you choose. A jersey or something lightweight is just going to collapse and not hold that beautiful poofy shape. So if you are indeed going to make this, you'll need to make sure you choose a stiffer knit that has a little more body, maybe a ponte or even an interlock. But to pull this off, you're going to need to make good fabric choices. Otherwise, in the words of Luke Skywalker, this is not going to go the way you think. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to get better at using Illustrator for fashion design, make sure you check the link in the description to my beginner classes or to get private tutoring. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.